Hello and welcome to part 2 of our login screen. Now last time we left off with this blank window here which is, well, quite boring. Now in this one we are going to fix this, okay? So we'll add widgets to this screen. So let's get to it. Uh, for now we're done with this. Next thing we need to do is create yet another file and call this one sign in dot kv all right so a note about this naming here kv is the extension for the kv language sign in which is the name of our file in this case should okay this is not optional this name should be the same name as your class here whoops whoa i should call it sign in okay sign in like that so i was saying this name should be the same name as your app class all right minus the app okay so this is how kiv finds your layout file if you call your layout file something different from the name of this class name well kiv you won't find your layout file and you will have problems now there's a way around this but for this one we are not going to cover that all right so back to the code in this sign in dot view file first thing we need to do is define the root widget for this layout file all right and the root widget in this case is our sign in window here which is a box layout all right so how you define a root widget is these angle brackets and in here just type in box layout whoa 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 sorry we called it sign in window wow like that all right now for this one i would like to define a few well I'd just like to define one property i think and that property is orientation like that so let me explain something about this real quick so orientation is how widgets are going to be laid out or are going to be laid out on our screen all right and since we're using a box layout there's two types of well orientations it's either widgets are laid out horizontally that will be left to right or vertically that will be uh top to bottom all right by default, widgets on a box layout are laid out uh, horizontally from left to right, all right? And for this one, we want to lay out our widgets from top to bottom. So let's change this orientation to vertical, all right? Great. Uh, what else? What else? Let's give our widgets some spacing. So spacing is simply the distance between widgets all right so for now I'll just uh give a spacing of 10 pixels all right so let's start actually putting our widgets together so first things first let's make a box layout so this box layout uh let me pull this up real quick so how i define my widgets structure is this we have a box layout right there all right so let me remove that and put that great so this is how my widgets are lined up let me pull this so we have a box layout right here right and then in this box layout we have a label right here and another one right here right but what happens is this label actually starts from here and we are going to make it take up all this space to about here and then this one is going to take up the rest of the space like that all right so back to our code right here so we have a label and this label's text is i forgot what i called it 
access control all right so access control like that now you'll notice that in this box layout i didn't define an orientation all right that's because remember i said by default uh widgets on a box layout are laid out horizontally all right and sure enough in this one we want our widgets laid up horizontally so we won't define uh we won't set an orientation for it all right now another thing about this text i want it to be bold so bold is equal to true just like that your text will be bold all right and remember let me pull this remember i said i want this label to take up all this space right which is essentially about 90 percent of the available width well in kiwi there is this concept called size hints all right so size hints in kiwi is essentially how how much of space a lab uh a widget is going to take up okay given a screen so in this case by default kiwi gives all widgets a size hint of one one which essentially means that a widget is going to take up 100 percent of the available width and 100 percent of the available height all right in this case i want my label to only take up 90 percent of the height so it's going to be 0.9 now about size hints and essentially most of the stuff in kiwi the range is not zero to hundred percent it's a shape it's uh zero to one all right so you have zero zero point one zero point zero one whatever as long as it's uh in between zero and one all right so zero point nine in this case is going to be ninety percent and i only want to deal with the size hint of the x axis so x so x is this uh it's x is essentially the width and y is the height all right so i want my size hint to be 0.9 next we want another label x, no 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 we want a button for this one all right and this is essentially going to be this button right here which is our quit button all right so our button text and the text is just an x we'll replace this with with an icon later all right and it doesn't need to be bold but we need to give this one a size hint and 0.1 so this one will take up 10 percent of the available width this one will take up 90 percent of the available width which sums up to a hundred percent all right so we're good there oh we should probably take care of the sizing of this as well so size hint instead of x this time we want to deal with the height okay we want this box layout to take uh 100 percent of the width no problem but the height we want to control the height and for this one i will say none so none essentially just tells kiwi to not give this box layout any size at all because we want to define our own all right so size hint y is none and let's control the height and for this one i think 50 pixels should be good all right great okay let me remove this space next thing we need to do is make another box layout like that and let's put in our inputs all right so inputs in kiwi are called text input and this text input we want it to have hint text hint text is essentially just placeholder text that informs the user of what we expect uh from this text input in this case we expect a username all right so another text input hint text and 
we expect a password from this one. So for this one, we'll need orientation, all right? Because we don't want our inputs from left to right. We want them stacked on one on top of the other, all right? So orientation, vertical, like that. Whoa. Tap that in, like that. The last thing is a button. Buttons text is going to be sign in like that. I believe we are done. So let's run this and see what we have. All right, great. So we have our access control here, our text inputs, which are huge, and our button. And so for this one, we will stop right here. All right. In the next one, we are going to fix the sizing and start theming the sign-in screen. All right. So thanks for watching. Thanks for the support and subscriptions. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like if you did, dislike if you didn't. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one.